this plan does not feel like a plan. It doesn't look like a plan. It looks like a, a reaction to a funding cut that is not in the best interest of kids. That's Ontario's former premier weighing in on the education minister's announcement today that every new full-time student with autism will come with about $12,000 in funding for the board. Now, while that is new funding, that's the same amount of money that comes with every new student. For each new student entering the school system, school boards will receive an average of $12,300 per student. And that sounds like a lot, but that's the amount of funding boards get for every full-time student. The only difference here is that the final cutoff for those funds is typically March. The government has extended it through April and June to enable some level of funding for the thousands of students who are expected to enter schools once their therapy funding is curtailed at the end of the month. I'm very worried that the money is not adequate and there isn't the time for the training that's needed to support these kids. No additional funding for students that will be making the transition from part-time to full-time, which is really a fair share of children with autism. Just a week ago, uh, the minister reached out to school boards to get input on how to best support students and overnight they've come up with a plan uh, that in fact is not going to do uh, what it's intended to do. Internal Ministry of Education documents obtained by City News reveal that boards have actually been instructed to continue hiring support staff to assist students on the autism spectrum, despite earlier memos calling for hiring freezes. But there doesn't appear to be any additional funds to support those hires. My ministry will once again provide over $3 billion in special education funding. They can hire more ABA professionals or purchase new sensory equipment. That's the same amount as this year. Uh, school boards are already struggling. Thompson promised to provide additional training for all teachers with the goal of having every educator at least partially trained in engaging with students on the autism spectrum by 2021. We are asking all boards to dedicate a professional activity day to learn about the best way forward when it comes to supporting students with ASD. By the 2020-2021 school year, we'll be able to say every teacher in this province will have training in supporting students with ASD. Additional uh, training for teachers, uh, professional development is always welcome, but this does absolutely nothing to support children with autism in April, May and June of this year, and it is nothing, uh, does nothing uh, in terms of a short and or a long-term plan to support those students. And there's a concern that without enough time to hire or train additional staff, there could be a ripple effect going to have a devastating impact uh, on classrooms across the province and for students, uh, not just for children with autism, but students uh, in those classrooms. You know, the government is suggesting that uh, teachers will now become therapists. Well, teachers are not therapists. Now, the Toronto Catholic District School Board has weighed in on this, and they say that they are cautiously optimistic, but at the end of the day, that today's announcement simply is not good enough. Now, they're anticipating at least 100 new students with autism this spring, but they're expecting many more will be transitioning from part-time to full-time status, and in those cases, there is no additional funding to support those students.